Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's my friends at Yarnspirations.com. And today we're going to be working with the Red Heart Pompadoodle with a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook today. We just have these little pom-poms that you'll see. And this is called the slip and go scarf. And what we want to do right off the hop is that we want to trim the extra piece that we see here. Just get it a little bit closer so it's not hanging out of the work. So with your scissors, just cut it a little bit shorter. So that's out. So let's begin. We're going to go between the first and the second pom-pom and I want you to create a slip knot and stick in your crochet hook to go there. So we're going to be going between the third and the fourth pom-pom. So one, two, three. Okay, so it's going to be right here. So you're just going to bring it up and you're going to slip stitch twice. So once and twice and it's creating a core for your your uh, scarf. So the next one is going to be between the fifth and the sixth. So you got the first one. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this is the sixth. So you're right in between. And then you just reach up and slip stitch twice. Okay, so the repeat pattern throughout this whole thing. The next one is between the third and the fourth. So we have one, two, three. So just go closer to the pom pom that's closest. And then you got room to slip stitch twice. And then the next one is between the fifth and the sixth. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's between here. And you're going to do that all the way across. And this is going to create a dangle. When you get to the end of the first ball, just tie it around the first one. So just go around the pom poms and just tie it into a knot. Nice and easy, simple. And then you just continue along with the pom-pom, um, just slipping, slip stitching in order to make that happen. So then you're gonna work your second ball, just like the first, and just keep on going. So if you have anything like this and it's bothering you, just trim it down a little bit more, and I'll see you at the end of the ball. So I'm coming up close to the end of the ball. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna pull up a loop here. And even if it's not the right um, stitch multiple, it doesn't really matter, it's, it's there. So you just wanna pull up the loop and pull one of the pom-poms through, that tight little loop. And what you're just gonna do is just tie it with your hands. And that will hold that into position. Okay, and because this is loosely dangling, if this is bothering you, just trim that back a little bit, and therefore you'll have your little, kind of like your pom-pom boa.